Okay, crap, let's try this one more time. Oop, move the damn camera. Alright, so depending on what type of knife you're going to be doing or what type of sheath you're doing, um, if you're going to wet mold them and just a single die, no tool work or anything else like that, or you do your tool work first, but what you're going to do, like if you're going to if you're going to fold it around and just have the one single stitch line, kind of like this here, you want to trace out your knife and depending on what side you're going to carry it on or if it's going to have a cant or anything else like that, but you're going to put your, your fold over belt loop on either side. It doesn't matter. So it just depends on what side you're going to carry it on. So if you're going to have it on this side, usually you could wear it both sides, but it all depends on how you want to put it on. But you're going to take your pattern. This part you do have to cut out with your main piece of leather. So, but usually what I do is I'll trace, I'll put the, it's the only thing I've got right now that I can find. Trace out your pattern of your knife. Give yourself about three quarters of an inch to an inch either side um, because then you could always just trim this off to fit your knife or whatever. I usually leave myself at least a good half inch that way I can trim off or whatever and make my stitch line where it needs to be. On this style um, you are going to want to put you know a piece in between here to protect your stitching so usually what I do is if I'm making a folder this this style, so I'll cut it out on this side, fold it in half, fold it over, trace it there, cut that piece here. That way you've got an even, you got both sides are even. So um, once you got got it folded over, you got your piece cut out or whatever, you do your work on it that you're if you're going to tool on it. Um, if not, just go ahead and put a uh, put your knife in it or soak it first um, usually I soak it in just lukewarm water um, or cold water depending on however you want to do it but fold it over put your knife in there after you after you get it wet and you pull it out put your knife in fold it over clamp it down let it dry um, I usually let that thing dry for at least a good 24 to 36 hours depending um, this type of, uh, knife, I, you could actually use a four ounce. I've done it before. Um, I wouldn't recommend really anything under six ounce, um, just because it'll hold up better. The centerpiece that you're going to put in between the two folds right here to protect the threads, um, either the same weight of the leather you're using or eight ounce. Um, it's usually just preference. Um, like I said, it depends on how thick your blade is too. So once you got that fold over, you got it, you got it, the, your knife inside, let it dry. You know, then you can take it out and then you can dye it, whatever, put, you know, your stitch holes in. Um, when you do that and once you got it on there, once you go to start stitching it, glue your centerpiece in that you cut to the shape of the, the, the blade. That way it kind of sits at least an eighth inch away from the blade. <coughs> that way it, it gives it enough room to where it's not going to bounce around too much, but it actually gives it room to where it's not going to forcibly put that blade into the threads or into that piece and start cutting it up. So, on that part, um, the pancakes like these uh, that go on your hip, usually it's meant for these little folders. And yeah, this is the one I got from Tandy. Um, usually on these, I don't even put a piece in between. So, just because it's just a folder, there's no blade option, you know, that you got to worry about. And unless you put, make one that actually you're putting a, a fixed blade in then I would probably put just a a small piece in there 
Um, I've done it to where whatever your wherever your blade's at, is I'll put it on on the side where the blade's sitting. And usually on something like that, I'll use you know, anything just like a two ounce, really, just to help protect the threads. So those the, this style is actually pretty easy. Now the style that I do most is this style here, um, where you cut out both sides. Uh, your your uh, your belt loop is cut on cut with your backside. Um, like I said, depending on the thickness of your blade, depends on the the weight of the leather that needs to go in between your two pieces. This is four ounce and four ounce. This is a uh, eight ounce. So, and like I said, that's in there just to protect the the threads and give it room to for the knife to slide in and out without any problems. Um, another type of, I made this one for a fishing buddy of mine. Um, I don't know if you've seen it or not or whatever, but I did the same thing. This is four ounce and four, and this is Nate in here. And like I said, I just made the, the belt loop portion out of the back piece. Um, I had to do some modifications. It was kind of getting tore up right here. So, but other than that, that's basically, basically it. And all I did with these is I just traced put the trace of the knife out, gave, gave myself a good half inch or so that, that way I've got room. You cut your centerpiece out to almost fit the blade or the widest point on your blade because if you got a wide point down here and narrow up here, you basically want to keep it to where you have enough room where this wide piece is gonna be able to come out. Uh, the first one I did, I did not do that and got it in but could not pull the damn thing out. So. Um, just make sure that your, your widest point of your knife is going to be able to clear up here so you can get in and out. So yeah, mistake number one I made. So, but other than that, that is just about it. If you got any other questions or concerns or whatever else, just give me a call. Um, I could do, I could do live feed with you if you want. So, but other than that, that's about it. So it's it's pretty basic, pretty simple. Um, just got to practice. It took me a couple times to, <laughs> to get one right to where they didn't fall out or didn't fall apart. So so just let me know.